check this out. So that right there is a container full of superworms that are prepared for snacks. And these actually aren't snacks for animals, although they might look like it. These are snacks for humans, for me. This is going to be my afternoon snack. And yes, before the end of this video, I'm going to eat some of these superworms on camera. But I want to talk about why I would eat a giant mealworm. The reason is, I am currently at Humbatu, one of the largest amphibian research centers in all of Central and South America. And they have some of the rarest frog species in the world being conserved right here. And the research that's taking place here is critical to the survival of these species. But in order to house thousands and thousands of frogs, you have to have a lot of food. So they grow, as you can see over here, and breed millions of insects to feed all of these amphibians. You've got everything from grasshoppers, to flies, to worms, to spiders, and you name it. And because they have so many insects, they decided to support the alternative protein movement. So if you come over here, and it, I apologize, it is in Spanish, but essentially what it's saying is insects are a lot more sustainable source of protein than our traditional protein sources like cows and chickens and all those things that we know emissions wise are not great for the environment. So uh, really goes hand in hand with the sustainability efforts of Humbatu to encourage people to consume insects. And before I have my afternoon superworm snack, let's take a look at one of the containers here that houses all of these breeding insects. Look at that, all the way to the back. These are containers and containers full of insects like this. Here are some living superworms. And these would be fed to the amphibians living here, all the toads and the frogs, just like that. But for me, for humans, they've actually perfected a roasting of the superworm to make them a little tastier, so I'm told. But I think it's time to find out, is the superworm indeed a superfood? All right. I was just going to eat one, but I think I'm gonna have to go for a full handful. Oh, yeah. Those are worms, all right. All right, here goes nothing. Time to have my super snack. On three. One, two, three. Mm. Oh. Sorry, huh? Mm. Oh. I'm the back of the The texture's really hard to get over. You can like feel the segments popping. You can feel the... Oh. I may have had too many for my first try. I'm gonna try getting out. All right, so it's definitely nutty. Not like a peanut though, like more like a soy nut. Um, grassy. You can definitely feel the legs rubbing against your tongue. The texture's a little off, but I'd say all in all, <clears throat> Wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's gonna take some getting used to, but in all seriousness, this is an excellent idea for cutting down on emissions. Uh, with the way the population around the world is going, we're going to need to find alternative forms of protein to feed us all. And uh, this is a pretty darn good idea. So if you're ever down here visiting Humbatu, make sure to ask them for your own super worm, super snack. All right, time to get back to filming some frogs. <laughs> 